Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about computers going out and buying an OEM, name brand PC, things to consider, where you should go to buy one at and places you should stay away from when you're going out to buy a computer, that kind of stuff. First I'm going to talk about the things to consider when you go out to buy a PC. There are quite a few big factors you got to consider. Number one would be, is the price reasonable? Are they overcharging you for the computer? Or is it a really good deal? Another thing to consider is the warranty coverage of the system. And yes, I know most OEM computers only give you a one year warranty, which is which is bogus, it's ridiculous. But a lot of times the store will have some kind of like, you know, some kind of coverage deal to where that like if you don't if something goes wrong, they'll take care of things for you. I know Walmart has a two-year plan for like thirty-something bucks. I'm not sure, something like that. And another thing to consider is, um, do the per do, do the people at the store that are selling the computers really know what they're talking about? Because when you go buy a computer, you don't you don't go by the price. You go by the specs, then go by the price. Because you buy the cheapest thing there, you're gonna be really dis you're gonna be really unsatisfied with what you're getting. Because you get a really cheap system, it'll be a very slow budget system. So usually the people that sell the computers will help you make a good decision. That's why you wanna make sure that when you go to a computer shop and you go to a place where the people know what you're talking about. And I'm gonna give some examples of places where you should go buy a computer and places where you shouldn't go buy a computer. Here are some places where you should go buy a computer. One place I do recommend pretty well is Best Buy because they have a really good selection of computer systems and the people in the computer in the tech department usually know how to help you make a good decision on what you should get. And um Another place I recommend would be, in some cases, Walmart, but yet other times I don't recommend them. I'll explain that here in a minute. But first, I go ahead and go over the pros of Walmart's computer section. They usually have really good prices on things like laptops and their desktops. A lot of times, they, um, the people that work there, in some cases, know what they're talking about. Other times, they don't have a clue. But it just it depends. But um, I think Walmart has a pretty good coverage deal with their systems. Like I think for thirty something bucks or six something dollars, I'm not sure. They will um, they'll like have this like protection plan for two years, if I'm not mistaken. It's a pretty good deal considering that most OEM companies only give you a one year warranty, which is like I say ridiculous. But um, here are some cons about Walmart's computers. Their computers tend to be several months behind of the actual technology today. Like I can go to Walmart and I can still find computers with Windows Vista on them. And here it is, January 2010. Windows 7 has been out for four months. And it's kind of more of a 50-50 selection. There's half the computers out there have 7 on them, mainly the laptops and a few desktops. But yet there's quite a few desktops out there that still have Windows Vista on them, which is outdated. And at the end of this month, January, you will no longer be able to upgrade. You will no, no longer be able to buy a computer with Vista on it and upgrade to seven for free. So that's another thing to importantly consider. In other places, I. Uh, can recommend to go buy computers and stuff would be like be like um office retail retail stores like Office Max, Office Depot, Staples. Because usually when you go there, they know what they're talking about because of course they're selling office equipment and computers are a big part of the office. So usually they can they can help you make a good decision on computers. I don't go there much so I don't know the prices, but I do know that usually they have a pretty good tech department. It just depends where you go. 
And here's my most important part of the video, places to avoid when going shopping for computers. And this typically is in the used computer department, not the new ones, but anyway, let's say you are you don't have enough money to buy a brand new computer and you just want to go with a slightly used one, which is not a bad idea. Because, I mean, as long as they can get you to the net and get stuff done for you, that's the big thing that matters. And let's say Microsoft supporting Windows XP till 2014. So that's not a good thing, but anyway, places to avoid when purchasing a computer such as a used one would be pawn shops and majority of thrift stores. First, I'll start with the pawn shops. I can't say that all pawn shops will, are like this, but I just happened to go in one in South Charlotte and I happened to see the computers and stuff. And I have to say, they were ridiculously priced. Not only that, but they really try to mislead the average Joe shopping for a computer. There are computers in there that were made in like 2002. They were saying the retail price was like $799.99. And you saved $500 by buying it here for $200 something. For 200 something dollars. And I mean, seriously. $799.99 would be the retail price for the computer, let's say, eight years ago, but not now. Computers degrade in price about twice as quick as the average car does. Like, for example, like you buy a brand new car for like $30,000. About five years down the road, it'll be, you know, it'd be worth maybe fourteen grand, something like that. When it comes to computers, that computer you spent about 800 bucks on back in like 2003 is maybe is maybe worth 100 150 bucks depending on what you get that's why most computers nowadays like the one, like let's see you just happen to find an old 486 computer sitting around somebody bought that computer for probably 1500 bucks but now it ain't worth ten dollars today because I mean it's pretty much useless it can't run any of today's software and about the pawn shops I can't really say if they cover what they sell or what, or what like that because you know they're probably just trying to get to the, get the systems out the door I don't know but like I say I don't recommend getting them at pawn shops and about the thrift stores in most occasions a computer that is donated to the thrift store is pretty much they take it in the donation. Sometimes they'll form like the hard drive, but other times they'll just leave the data there. So if you're going to donate your computer to a thrift store, you better consider deleting that hard drive. But anyway, you buy a computer at the thrift store. In most cases, once you buy it, it's yours. And if it's a let's say um a recent model computer. Chances are it's way overpriced. I've seen thrift stores try to really rip people off on recent model computers. And usually if it's a recent model computer and it's in a thrift store, chances are there is something wrong with it. And you probably don't want to get it. However, there is one place I do recommend getting your computer at when if it comes to a thrift store. That would be Google Computer Works. They usually have techie guys that take in the systems and, you know, get rid of the... Um, original data and reconfigure the system for resale and they back her and they back the systems up with like a 30 day warranty or something like that but um in most cases I don't recommend this store but Google computer works would be a good place to get one at but anyway these are just my opinions about where you should get your computer if you want to get your computer wherever go ahead but I'm just, I'm just trying to and just giving you my suggestions.